is Anna Artigas. I am a PhD in physics and I am currently working in the University Autonomous of Barcelona and in particular in Grecim, that is a research center devoted to STEM education. I am part of the team, part of one of the teams that is in charge um, of the research in the, in the Ingenious Project and I would like to share with you the results of a part of the big study that we have been developing in, in the frame of this project. The objective of this part of the study was to develop a set of criteria for good practices, that is, uh, good educational practices that could be uh, able to promote STEM careers. In this sense, therefore, first of all, we considered that it was essential to understand how the process of taking career choice uh, took place, and in particular, which were the elements or the uh, ingredients that influenced young people when doing this choice. Therefore, we have been studying um, research in different fields, in the field of psychology, in the field of sociology, in the field, of course, of STEM education. And from all this uh, background, we have uh, identified many different ingredients from very different natures, but uh, we have classified all of them in four big uh, categories that we called factors, uh, four big factors. That would be the school factor, the career information factor, the psychological factor, and the family and environment factor. The school factor, the first one, is about the, how the students feel um, uh, engaged with the STEM disciplines. That is, we understand that if you are competent with STEM disciplines, that is, if you have a deep knowledge of STEM uh, disciplines, you will be interested and you will be willing to, to go on studying this kind of, of uh, disciplines and not in the other way. Not if you see the, the fun or the easy phase of science, you will be uh, competent in science or you will, you will be willing to go on studying and, and, and uh, become competent. In any case, uh, of course, uh, liking science is not enough. We understand that there are many people, mostly in primary, that really like science, really like STEM, but they do not see themselves as future scientists. And therefore, the, the other three factors um, are very important also. The second one, that would be the career information factor, is about the information that students have about the, the future options that they would uh, have in the, in the world of work. That is, many people think that if you study mathematics, you will be or a teacher in the school or a researcher in the university. In this sense, it is important to make them know the, the, the broad um, uh, variety of options that they have. That is, there are many people with a STEM background that is working in very different kinds of works. It is also important the psychological factor. That is, um, this factor is about how students feel that their own capabilities, their own interests, their own skills fit with those required for uh, STEM jobs. And here it's very important the concept of self-efficacy since there is the, the common idea that science is difficult, that science is too difficult for many people and therefore it is important to, to make students feel that they are able to do science, that they are able to succeed in science and that they are able to enjoy while succeeding in science. The fourth factor is the family and environment factor and it is important to take into consideration the influence that families and teachers have on the final decision of, of the students and in this sense um, the image that society in general has about the, the STEM related business needs to be improved since there is a general view that <clears throat> in the world of technology everything is done uh, that we are consumers and not producers because uh, young people in general think that everything is done. Also, the, um, the social responsibility that uh, comes from the, the, the industry or the STEM related business, it's not clear for the general uh, society. And also exists the general view that uh, industries, uh, the impact that they have in the, in the environment could be better. In this sense, uh, all these factors have to be taken into consideration and if we are trying to address the process of taking career choice, that is, if we are trying to promote STEM careers from an educational initiative, we understand that it is essential that these educational initiatives is able to address the different factors involved in this, in this process.
in this sense, we have been working on which would be the criteria that uh, an educational practices should fit uh, in order to be able to, to contribute to the promotion of STEM careers. We have um, classified all the criteria in three blocks, that is the block of the criteria that aim to um, to assure that the educational initiative would, would be a good educational tool, that is, we are thinking about education and therefore it needs to be a strong educational tool. The second block of criteria would be those addressed to assure that these educational initiatives is a good tool for STEM education in particular, that we are talking about. And the last one, the last uh, block of criteria would be those addressed to assure that the initiatives um, improves the information and the view that students has, uh, have about STEM careers, that is addressed to STEM careers education. Regarding the first block of criteria for good practices, that is the block devoted to, to assure that the educational practice is a strong educational tool, uh, it is important to, um, to have clear goals clear expected outcomes for students and that these expected outcomes are able to be achieved by the students by means of the approach uh, followed during the initiative. That is, if this initiative is, uh, comes from a partnership uh, between a school and an industry or a school and a science museum or any other kind of, of partnership that, would, uh, that, that could be, it is essential to align the objectives of the different stakeholders um, that uh, collaborate in these initiatives in order everybody is going in the same dire direction and that students can really achieve the aims expected but, but all, um, by all the, all the, the partnership. In this sense, um, it is also important to take into consideration as I think that it's really well known in education, in, in people that, that work in education, that uh, educational experience is a synthesis of a curriculum that says uh, which are the goals to be achieved and the experiences that will drive students to achieve these goals. Also a pedagogical approach, that is an approach that uh, uh, will uh, make students able to achieve the goals and finally an assessment tool, an assessment system that uh, has to be integrated in the whole initiatives. In the case of initiatives uh, trying to promote STEM careers, it has to be also um, an initiative that uh, being able to have a long-term impact, that is, we know it's very well known that uh, aspirations are not, career aspirations are not static, are changing along the, the life of students and all the inputs that students um, receive along the, the years that they are studying can change these aspirations. Therefore, um, continuous link with STEM careers or an initiative that is really conceived to have a long-term impact on the students, it's important uh, in order to have an effect, a final effect on the, on the decision of the students. Regarding the second block of criteria for good practices, those that are aimed to assure that the educational initiative is a good tool for STEM education. Um, since we are thinking on STEM education, we are thinking on making students more competent in STEM disciplines and therefore STEM competence following PISA report and OECD reports um, embraces different aspects that would be the content knowledge, the skills, the STEM skills like problem solving, uh, decision making and the attitudes, critical thinking, curiosity. So the, we consider that these uh, initiatives has to be addressed in improving these aspects of the, of the um, STEM competence of the, of the students. Moreover, thinking again that we are addressing the STEM careers issue, it is important to address also from the very beginning, from early ages, the promotion of other skills that are important in STEM jobs and that can be addressed from the school in a very good way, as are uh, team working, uh, talking in front of people in different languages and this kind of social skills. Moreover, also very well known I think in education is that the uh, initiatives have to take into consideration the, the, the background uh, knowledge that students have in order to help them uh, and to scaffold them in the construction of new knowledge from the level where they are and not losing them in the, in the, uh, in the process of, of trying to explain them something that is maybe too far away from their um, background knowledge. Uh, of course, 
all these aims will be achieved only if a good pedagogical approach or an appropriate pedagogical approach is followed by, by the initiative. In this sense, um, research in STEM education says that it is very efficient to use uh, student learner, student-centered uh, approaches as it is the working around open questions, uh, inquiry experiments, uh, problem learning, um, all these kind of, of activities that allow a free role to students and, and makes them in the center of the, of the construction of knowledge and, and teachers are not uh, transmitters of knowledge but a coach for them to, to help them in the, in the process of, of, of being more, more competent in STEM. Uh, the last group of criteria would be those criteria addressed to assure the, um, the good quality of the initiative in order to be able to address the STEM careers issue, that is to give information and to improve the, the image that students have of this kind of, of um, careers. And in this sense, we consider that it is essential to make known students the academic background and the professional um, way or track that uh, STEM professionals have followed in order to be where they are. That is, uh, to make them know how can what can they study, what can they do in order to become those kind of STEM professionals. It is also important to, to allow them to get information from the different kind of profiles that uh, exist in the, in the STEM industry or in the STEM business, since it's very important the, the PhD or the engineer working in the, in the industry, but it is also really important the, the student that comes from the vocational training, since there are many different kind of profiles, all of them are important, all of them are essential, and making them know that they exist, it's a good way to make them feel more willing to, to develop this kind of, of studies. Um, also, in order to make them be willing to develop this kind of, of uh, studies, it's important to make them reflect on which are the tasks that these kind of professionals do, which is the difficulty or which are the abilities that they have to, to deal with them um, more, uh, and to put the students in front of some problems, some real problems adapted to their age, of course, uh, in order to make them known that they are capable to, to succeed and that they can enjoy. Um, that is by, by means of uh, role-playing activities or problem-solving, this kind of, of activities that can help them to, to, to feel secure about this kind of, of tasks. Finally, we have not to forget about the gender issue, that is uh, that uh, really uh, much more boys are going to STEM studies than girls, and in this sense it is important to address this issue by making them know that uh, science is not a, a male um, discipline, but that it's a male and female discipline, and therefore that everybody has to go in. And this is also maybe important to address it from the roots, that is from the family, that sometimes uh, has their uh, view of this kind of, of, of uh, careers, that are uh, male careers, and therefore um, foster girls, interest of girls to other kind of, of uh, studies. Therefore, this comes the, the last criteria, that is that it is important to show, to, to improve the image that society has about the STEM careers, uh, showing the ethics, showing the social relevance, showing the, 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 the importance of this kind of, of professions and which are the, what, what they are doing for the society. Uh, this would be the set of criteria that we have been developing in the, in the frame of the study that I was saying in, the, in Ingenious. In order to summarize everything that I have been saying, I think that it is very important when uh, we want to participate in an educational initiative, initiative that is not exclusively focused on educational purposes, but it also wants to promote STEM careers, to take into consideration the factors influencing young people when doing their career choice. That is, if the educational initiatives is not addressed to stress in these factors influencing young people, it will be very difficult to really promote STEM careers. Uh, in this sense, I think that it is very important, the school factor, of course, but also it's important to take into consideration that students need information about their, the, the, the options in the future, about uh, which kind of um, tasks develop the STEM professional, 
these professionals and of course to improve the social view of, of these kind of professions. I hope that you find it interesting to, to know about this set of criteria that we have developed in the frame of, of Ingenious Project. Thank <laughs> you.